guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Sticky Locks. Now this is a fantastic plugin that allows you to lock a variety of items such as doors, chests, furnaces, anvils, that sort of thing. Before we get into the video, I am teaming up with Server Miner and producing some plugin videos for them once a week. I will leave a link to that down below, so if you want to see more plugin videos, check them out. But without further ado, let's get into this plugin. So first of all, what you're going to need is a stick. Now go up to a chest, door, or something like that, and what you need to do, you need to right click it, and that will select it. It says unknown chest. If we left click it, it will lock it, and we will only be able to open it ourselves. So if we right click, it says chest owned by you, and if we right click again, it will just say the same thing. But if we right click another item, such as the anvil, um, that will say who it's owned by and that it's selected. Now once it's selected, if we do forward slash SL, what we can do is add people. So I could add my other account to be able to use this. I could add a group of people as well, which is a very awesome feature. Um, so first of all, let's do that. So SL, uh, remove, and then my other account because I already added him. So now he has no access to this. What we can do, we can create a group of maybe all of your friends so they can get in your chest. So if we do forward slash SL group, I'm gonna call it something. So um, Let's call it team one or something. Add, and then I could add my other account to this team. And then I could add someone called Dave or something. And everyone in this group would be able to access this if I did four slash SL add, and then team one. And it said add, added group team one to access list. And everyone in that group would be able to access this uh, anvil and be able to use it. So that's how that works. In the config file, you can choose whether you want it to automatically lock or whether you have to do it manually by uh, obviously using the stick, uh, by right clicking, left clicking. And if I go ahead and de-op myself, uh, what I can do now is um, practice using this. So my other account locked this door. And if I try and use it, you can see it doesn't even open and I would not be able to get past, uh, which is really good. So you can see it works very, very well. So that is everything in-game, um, it's a fantastic plugin, works very well. Uh, let's have a look at the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the sticky locks folder, and as you can see there are two files, there is the database which you don't need to touch, and the config.yml. So if we open this up there are all the items that you can protect, if you want you can remove particular ones, so jukebox you could get rid of that, and th there it is gone. Down here we can change the tool, so at the moment it's a stick, but you can make it something more difficult to get, such as a diamond shovel or a really obscure item. And down here we have the chat prefix, which is SL, you can pretty much change that to whatever you want, and whether you want it to auto-lock, so if someone puts down the chest, it, all, it locks automatically. But that's how you uh, change everything in the config, it's very, very small in there. Uh, but it's a fantastic plugin, very lightweight, and it does its job brilliantly. So if you want to uh, download it, links down below. Make sure to check out uh, Server Miner for more plugin tutorials that are coming out every week by myself. But apart from that, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.